Hi there, Taurus. Welcome to Healing Guys Tarot. This is your reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And we're going to tap into why are they coming back? What do they want? What are their intentions? Can you trust them? Okay, so let's see. What do they want? Communication. They want to start things moving with you again. They want to see action. They want to see movement. Okay, a lot of passion here with these wands. What are their intentions? They want to move away from rough waters. I think they want to move away from rough waters with you into smoother waters to be able to talk, have a conversation, and um, be in better terms with you. Can you trust them? Well, they're coming to you as being very stable, reliable. They might even bring a gift. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But they're trying to prove to you that they are stable and dependable. And that's the slowest night, too. So may, they might have took their time doing this, too. Can relationship with them be beneficial for you? Well, I guess they're putting something out there. They're hoping. I think they've been um, praying and trying to manifest this. So we'll see. We'll have to get more clarification on that. What do you need to know? Mm, they want a, a serious commitment here. Gemini energy. Lovers. There's a choice here that you know, you're going to have to make. But they want this long-term commitment here. They see you as their soulmate. Okay, advice. Well, right now you might feel like you're stuck. You don't know what to do. But you don't have to make a decision right away. Just wait on it. Just you know chill a little bit and see what happens oops this one came popping out this is here okay so i'm put that there because it popped up before i was ready to go to the next one and queen of wands so they may see you as very attractive okay let's see what's the potential outcome ah, celebration going out and the star Okay, so they might see you as their wish fulfillment, their dreams come true, a special connection here. This is um like the Nine of Cups, but a major arcana. There's um, a lot of hope here. Okay, let's um, see. Why do we have this Eight of Wands for what do they want? They want a new beginning here. A lot of love and emotion. Their cup is overflowing with emotion for you. Okay. And what are their intentions? And we have this Six of Swords. Getting out of this um, being abandoned, left out in the cold here. They want to move on to um, calmer seas here. Okay, and can you trust them? You got this Knight of Pentacles. Yes, they want balance. There's justice here. They want to balance things out. They want to be fair. Okay. Can a relationship with them be beneficial? We have the Three of Wands. Whoa. Three of Wands, waiting for something. Here's this heartache. This might this might bring pain. We're gonna have to get a null card on that, but let's um go on to the next one. What do you need to know? You got the lovers here. Ooh. Okay, there's potential to be um a really good opportunity here with this person maybe even a business or a financial opportunity with a lot of growth okay and advice we have the queen of wands plus the ten i plus ten but the eight of swords let's see and we have the knight of pentacles again taurus virgo capricorn wow so you could be dealing with now earth sign here very strong you got the and someone's coming very slow but there's going to be an offer here okay now the potential outcome we have the three of cups let's get more on that let's clarify that and we have the full new beginning so it looks like a new beginning you're going to be celebrating a new beginning with this person and we also have the king of swords so this is aquarius libra gemini so either it's them or it's you um standing your ground wanting the truth very intelligent it could be both for that you view for this i want to clarify why we have the three of wands with the 
Three of Swords. Why do we have the Three of Wands and Three of Swords? Terrapin. Eight of Cups. Okay, so someone wants to have a commitment here. So they probably want to heal this, this broken heart, this heartache. It could have been a third party situation. And um and someone had to walk away from that in order to come to this. So th someone they might have walked away from another relationship, or maybe it was family or friends or something of uh, work or something that um broke you guys up. They're walking away from that, and now um divine timing. There's um destined to be together. It feels like so that looks pretty good. And at the bottom of this deck, we have the star again. Aquarius energy, hopes and dreams and wishes coming true. Boy, that looks pretty good. Okay. Now, um, let's get some more cards on this for you guys. What else do we have? It's a Taurus. What else? Yeah. Five of Cups. Yes, someone's crying over this, these spilled cups and not seeing these other two cups. This could be you. This could be your person. You could both do, be doing this. Not wondering whether or not this will um, work. But someone's very emotional over this breakup, this loss. Five is changes too. And then we have the full, new beginning. That could be Aquarius or Aries. Yeah, they want a new beginning with you. You want to start something new. Got the, um, the full here twice. So there's a very good chance that you could start something new. The world, yes, this is coming back around. Whatever it has ended, someone wants to bring it back in here to start all over again. To try, try again. See if you can make it work this time. I don't know. This looks really good. If you want this situation, you know you can have. It's all up to you. Okay, we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so I think they see you as very sexy, desirable. Wow, got the Queen of Wands here twice. Very attractive and a lot of fun. Feels like a lot of fun. I'm getting someone feels happy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Very nurturing, loving, caring, um, financially stable. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What else do we have here? And we have ooh, three queens. Are you dealing with one person or more? <laughs> We also have, now we have the match set here, Queen and King of Swords. I think both of you are very in, intelligent and you both want the truth here. And you want, I think you want to sit down and actually have a conversation and get to the bottom of things. They bring in this justice. Wow. What else do we have? Oh, I can't be not believe this. How could these queens be coming out like that? I'm shuffling in between, too. So we got the Queen of Cups. So this makes up the Empress. So all together, this person is Empress energy. So able to um, create, co-curate. Um, it's like they're, they're able to... Um, I can't even think of the word. I You know, this is like the, the Empress is... Um, eternally pregnant is like this there's so much that can manifest in this situation all we need is the emperor and we'll be all set <laughs> okay let's see here a lot of love nurturing on caring intuition I have a page of wands there's going to be communication they're going to probably contact you it's good it might come in quick it could be a letter an email a text but you will hear from this person this again aries leo sagittarius energy And we have, ooh, the devil, Capricorn energy. There's something here that maybe someone's um obsessing over this, or maybe overindulge or do something here. Um, I think I want to clarify. Why do we have the devil here? Oop, this popped out right away. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. That's three times the Knight of Pentacles. Someone's definitely coming in with a message, probably to talk about something about why the devil energy is here. Let's see. Hangman, Pisces energy, seeing things in different perspective. Okay, and four of swords. This person thinks a lot about you. This is also a meditative state. You know, someone might meditate a lot. 
Ignitosaurs coming towards you quickly. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with a message, with communication. Want a really strong communication, I feel. Someone wants communication. Seeing things in a different perspective here with the Pisces. While you a long time waiting, there's something changed with this devil energy. Maybe the, this person had, um, a, they were addicted to something or they overdid something or involved in something and they might have changed. They're doing things differently now. Okay, let's see what we have. Oh, Ten of Pentacles, long-term commitment. Finances look good. A lot of money, abundance. Knight of Swords again. Wow. Someone's coming towards you with communication. I wonder if you have a couple people here. A lot of people involved in this. We're coming up. Oh, and the Magician manifesting this return, manifesting this new beginning. Yeah, they're working on this. They're manifesting something here. And Nine of Pentacles. They might see you as single, available, doing well. That's the uh, card for someone that's very doing well, single. <laughs> oh boy, let's see. I feel this energy of whoever I'm tapping into, they're very hyped up. <laughs> what signs are you dealing with? Sagittarius. Cancer. Virgo. Taurus, Gemini, and Aquarius. These are the signs you could be dealing with. Okay, now this could be your person. And if you don't see their sun sign here, it could also be another placement in the chart. Or it could be an energy that they seem to almost act more like a different sign. That could be too. And that will give you a little heads up. Or it could be other people around you, other energies that are tapping into your energy at this time that is coming up in this reading. So please let me know if you like this spread. Give me a thumbs up for it. And I thank you guys for all your likes, your shares, your subscribes. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much.